Thank you so much, Michael, uh, for accepting uh, uh, my request of being on this podcast and share some of your experiences uh, working in Southwest. And just to give the perspective that obviously uh, I was very intrigued and impressed about how Southwest culture has cultivated over the period more than I think close to 50 years, if I'm not wrong. And uh, the original vision of uh, the, the previous CEO or late Herb uh, yep. still intact and people love working in Southwest Airlines. And while I was working, obviously, I would like to have some people who either worked or working in Southwest Airlines. And how do they resonate with what I have read so far about the culture of Southwest? So, Michael, would you like to introduce yourself? And we will take it from there. Absolutely. Uh, my name is Michael Neal. I've been with Southwest for eight years now. I uh, worked in a variety of roles. I uh, started in 2015 in a customer service supervisor role in Louisville, Kentucky. I was lucky enough to join a program called the Emerging Leaders Development Program in 2016. I spent 18 months in Chicago. I was in place in Oklahoma City in our CSNS department. That's basically reservations. I uh, spent about three and a half years there. And for the last two years, I've been working in the Orlando International Airport in our in-flight department as a supervisor. That's great. So uh, the people who may not have like clear understanding about what that in-flight supervisor is. So would you like to give some, uh, like the in plain English, what exactly you do? Sure, absolutely. So my job is to support the flight attendants. Obviously flight yeah. attendants are, are, we consider the, the face of the company. Uh, they are the individuals who are providing obviously safety as a primary focus, but also hospitality. Um, on our flights, we have either three or four flight attendants, depending on the flight, depending on the aircraft, really. Um, but my job is to, to encourage them, to empower them, and to be there to appreciate them. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good gig. Um, I work with some tremendous people. Um, it, you know, I, Again, I've been lucky enough to be at Southwest for eight years, and this is certainly my favorite role at Southwest. Um, I get an opportunity to meet just so many tremendous people and, of course, work alongside our business partners in Orlando. Indeed. Uh, so as you mentioned that you, you get to meet so many people, I would like to uh, ask, like, uh, how exactly you end up joining Southwest Airlines? Is it because you heard about it, you stumbled upon it, or and then maybe if you can provide some thing about uh, the overall culture? And as you mentioned, sure. you moved to different roles. I would like to know that how exactly that impact you uh, personally and professionally. Absolutely. So my, my story of joining Southwest is a bit unique. Um, mm -hmm. When I was 10 years old, I was um, very intrigued by Southwest. I, I wanted oh, to wow. work at Southwest <laughs> and actually wrote okay. the uh, former CEO, Herb Kelleher, a letter asking him to hire me when I was old enough to work for Southwest Airlines. And wow. um, eventually that dream came true. Uh, I was hired in 2015. Um, so my desire to work at Southwest has really been a lifelong dream. And, and it really is a dream come true. Um, the culture at Southwest, in my opinion, is what makes Southwest uh, uniquely different. Um, I believe uniquely different in a positive way. Um, prior to working for Southwest, I, I went to get experience from uh, two other airlines. And while they were tremendous to me, and I have nothing but great things to say about them, at Southwest, it is different. And I absolutely love working at Southwest. Um, I'm often accused of, uh, jokingly, from my peers of being a Kool-Aid drinker. And that's something I embrace wholeheartedly. I am a Kool-Aid drinker. And I think it starts with our culture. You know, our culture is one that we are expected, we are encouraged to do the right thing for customers and, of course, our, our peers, our, our internal customers, our employees. Um, and that's, that's empowering employees to give them, give us the ability to make the right decision. Um, you know, we have a set of policies, but our policies are, are encouraged to be, to be adjusted if it works in the favor of their customer. I remember my first leader at Southwest Airlines, he once told me, if you make a mistake in the favor of a customer, I'll never get upset with you. I'll coach you on it and you'll learn from that. But I want you to not be afraid to make a mistake, but do the right thing for customers. And I think about, you know, when you have that flexibility, when you have that freedom, when you feel like you're not working on eggshells, your performance goes to the roof. And I think about the leaders I have worked with at Southwest and worked for, um, they're, they're individuals who empower me, who, who push me, who care more about me as an employee. And of course, in turn, my motivation is, is through the roof. Um, so 
Wow. Hey, a long answer, but I, I certainly really do appreciate the culture of Southwest. And that's what fires me up to go to work every day. You know, every day is not perfect in the airline industry. In fact, we, we've had some difficult days. But um, more often than not, we have a tremendous amount of fun and, and, and are successful in our roles. That's so inspiring, actually. I, I wasn't aware of the fact that you were so much uh, fascinated about Southwest I am. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you were a child. That shows, yes, sir. Uh, that shows about uh, uh, the culture and, and how, I mean, you must have uh, flown and you Dude. must have read about it. So that, that's a great uh, way to look at it. So as you mentioned that you uh, you joined and you also mentioned about you were in some leadership program. Sure. Uh, how exactly that developed you as a person? Because sometimes the, uh, the intra movement uh, is sometimes challenging, but at the same time, Absolutely. it's rewarding. So what's your perspective? How Southwest is different in terms of those leadership programs? Absolutely. I, I've been lucky enough to be a part of two different leadership programs in Southwest. Uh, like I mentioned, in 2016 through the end of 2017, I was in the Emerging Leaders Development Program, 18-month program in Chicago. And currently, I'm in what a newer program we have. It's called the High Impact Program. It's a program for, for leaders who are hoping to jump to that next level. This program is five months long. Um, both programs bring leaders from different departments, different parts of the country, and I find that I learned so much from my peers, from the individuals the company brings in to, to help us learn. And, 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 you know, there is something to be said about when you know the company believes in you, when your employer believes in you and is giving you resources, giving you opportunities to learn and, and, and grow. Um, I always joke, I'm from Kentucky, so it takes me a little bit longer to learn these things. But when I know that I have support behind me, um, I feel like I can do anything. And, and as an employee, that's, that's all we're ever looking for, is it a leader who believes in us and is there for us to help us grow. And uh, I, I feel incredibly fortunate to work at Southwest and have that, ha have that um, sense of trust, if you will. And, and I know that as a person, I've grown as well, and I feel like I'm a better leader because of that. Wow, that's so inspiring. I think uh, uh, you have said all the right things. And, and I can see the way you're explaining. It's not like you're just saying for the sake of it. You really believe it. Sure. Uh, I do. That. I definitely do. <laughs> so uh, do you have any anecdotal experience like that this is how Southwest works? Uh, any any experience in your working or anything you would like to share? Sure. You know, Southwest is a, a definitely unique uh, model of airlines. So uh, the majority of airlines are a hub and spoke. So basically air, airplanes fly to and from the hub and then, of course, back out mm -hmm. to the um, next city. Southwest is point to point. Uh, we, we are unique in that. We have the most international. I'm sorry. We had the most domestic flights in the United States at more than 4,000 flights. Um, we are definitely unique, and I think that our uniqueness allows us to be successful. Um, we we are a niche airline. Um, we we are part leisure, part business. Um, you know, currently it's a little more leisure because of the current market. Um, mm -hmm. But I think that our business is unique, and because of that, we're we I don't know, we strive. It's almost yeah. like an underdog feel. And, and, and that's something we're all really proud of. Exactly. So how the interaction goes, uh, I mean, uh, when I was reading uh, the book about the Southwest uh, uh, way, I was seeing mm -hmm. that uh, the integration and the cooperation between all the different cog wheels. I mean, sure. uh, it's not easy, right? You, uh, like you are in flight supervisor and then there are some ramp people and, and obviously the pilots and the flight attendants, y you really have to be in a right cooperation to mm -hmm. move the flight on time from the yeah. airport. So how exactly that works? I mean, do you have any anything to say about this? You know, the airline business, I once heard, and I, and I believe this, is the ultimate team game. We have individuals from different departments mm -hmm. who are working together with a focus on safety to ensure that our customers Arrive, take off and arrive on time with tremendous hospitality. Um, and, and it takes so many resources from the customer service, that first interaction. Actually, to take a step back, the, the phone interaction, when somebody books a flight, obviously they can do it online as well, mm -hmm. but the phone to the interaction when checking a bag, to the operations agent when you're scanning a boarding pass, ramp agents loading planes, helping the plane be pushed out safely, 
obviously flight attendants giving emergency demonstrations and, mm. and welcoming customers on a plane, pilots, of course, um, flying the aircraft. And then there's a, there's a role from headquarters as well in terms of dispatching the aircraft and then basically doing that entire process on the reverse end when it arrives in whatever city it's going to. And it, there are so many hands that have to be a part of the, of the entire flight. And it's a unique challenge. Uh, it's it's a very vigorating challenge, but um, it, it is the ultimate team game, uh, and and it's it's a lot of fun. It really yeah. is. It, no no two days are, are alike, and um, I think that's what brings us back every day. You know, we talk about having airline fuel in our blood, and, and once you get it in, it's it's almost like you you can't get it out because it's such a unique challenge, and it's a whole lot of fun. I I, I really do think about. I don't work. I mean, I, I get to I get to work at I get to go to Southwest Airlines, and I get to be in an environment which I love, and, and the company takes care of me. And I mean, what? How how much luckier could I get? Exactly. That's great. I think uh, Michael, you have shared good information, and uh, I think that is very inspiring. Any last word for people, uh, either who are flying to uh, Southwest Airlines or to the people. Who would like to join uh, Southwest Airlines in future? Sure, absolutely. To the individuals flying Southwest, thank you. Thank you so much for flying Southwest. Um, I appreciate you. Um, my family appreciates you as well. And um, we really, I mean, without customers, we wouldn't be able to do this. For individuals who want to join Southwest, um, I mean, what a great time to join Southwest. We are hiring in, in almost every role. Um, I think it's a tremendous company. I think it has incredible benefits. Um, obviously, you get to travel and you get uh, great financial benefits, medical and health. Um, but at, while those are incredible benefits, that's you know one of the great things that you know keeps me at Southwest. But the opportunity to work in an environment where you are trusted, where you are believed in, where the company cares about you, and opportunity to grow as a leader and as an individual. You know, I I, I often uh, find myself recruiting for Southwest, and in, in that you know when I talk to someone. I, it's it's a passion. It's it's not a career. It, this is a calling for me, um, and and I I would love for others to experience the same level of happiness and and, and you know just fulfillment that I've been lucky enough to have at Southwest for the past eight years. And I think about eight years down and thirty two years ago. Wow, that's great. And so yeah, I think uh, anyone who's listening and viewing this, uh, please reach out to Michael Neal. I think you have a LinkedIn account. Uh, I do. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, so I'll uh, we'll share that so that if anyone would like to reach out. And again, if you're thinking, why am I so excited? Obviously, I'm not sponsored by Southwest Airlines. It's purely sure. my own intrigue. I, I just want to learn from people what makes uh, an organization successful and how the leadership drive uh, from that. Actually, one thing I just uh, forgot to ask sure. you before you go about your 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 commander in chief i think bob is uh, is the 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 ceo uh what do you think about him like how exactly uh the overall culture from i think 1967 i guess if i recall 1967 and yeah, 7 right started? so yeah. the the airline was the, the idea was developed mm. in 1967 herb mm. and uh, a business partner in san antonio drew it on a cocktail napkin a triangle yeah. um in, in san antonio and and the first flight was in June of 71. And 52 years later, here we are in 2023. Like you said, Bob Jordan is our CEO, mm -hmm. uh, an incredible leader. I've been lucky enough to uh, interview him for when I was working on my master's project, um, oh, wow. getting my master's degree. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he took the time to really t to, to help me with my project, but really invest in me as an individual. And again, when you when you act, when you think about leadership, you just want somebody to care about you. And Bob Jordan took m more time than he needed to 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 care about me. And I I can't thank him enough. Uh, I am obviously a very loyal Southwest employee, but he's been good to me. Um, before that, it was Gary Kelly and um, Jim Parker. Before that, and then, uh, Herb Kelleher, of course, mm -hmm. a, a legend in the industry. Um, I was lucky enough to meet Herb once and, and, and Gary Kelly, but uh, mm -hmm. met Herb and. Um, what a unique individual. I, I, I mentioned to him that I wrote him a letter when I was 10. And Did you ask him he why he didn't it. respond back to that? <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't respond, but his secretary did. And, oh, really? Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, they, and they sent, a, they sent a letter back and, and, and a, a box of swag. And 
And I had that letter in my in my room growing up for years. Um, it's now saved in mem- memorabilia in my house. Um, but he mentioned, you know, one one unique thing about Herb. Again, I only met him once, but the, what I found when I researched him for my master's degree project, he had an incredible memory. He remembered people's names after meeting you once. And I remember him telling me, I remember that letter well. And, you know, I, when, I, when I said that to him, I was approximately 27, 28. Uh, so 18 years later, or I'm sorry, 18 years earlier, I had read him that letter. And, you know, you talk about making somebody yeah. feel important and valued in a company. I felt like I was 10 feet tall. I felt like I was Babe Ruth about to go in the Yankee Stadium. I, I mean, I was, I felt so empowered and happy. And um, one one time meeting him, and he had a tremendous impact on me. And one of the things I love doing today is when I'm talking to employees who've been at Southwest more than 10, 15, 20 years, is asking them about Herb. You know, tell me what it was like to work at Southwest when Herb is here. And, and the thing that I find most fascinating is of all the individuals – and I've interviewed hundreds. Uh, I've, I've spoken to probably thousands of employees about Herb. Is no one ever has a bad word to say about it. It's always a positive experience. It's like they got to tell you their their passion for him and, and how he made them feel. And you know, I, I try I try to be a great leader, but I, I know that there's a percentage of people that go that would say Michael Neal, he's a bum, you know. Whereas yeah. Herb Kelleher, it's all positive and, and just a very impressive leader and. Uh, somebody whose who's impact is still felt today from Gary and, and now Bob Jordan. Wow. What, what a legacy has uh, her left and, and, and still people are following and, and try to strive. So that's, that's a great story, Michael. Again, I can go on and on, but uh, I think you already have provided a very key important uh, uh, things about Southwest. And thank you so much for uh, sharing your story and your insights about it. And really appreciate it. And uh, I definitely, when I uh, go to the airport next time, I'll give you a bus and let's have a chat. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. I appreciate the opportunity. Obviously, I love Southwest and <laughs> love talking about it. And I look forward to meeting you in person in Orlando. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Have a great day. Yeah, thanks. Okay.